Hello and welcome to this new Animal Wise video where today we will talk about how to look after a hamster. If you have one already or are considering adopting, keep watching. The hamster is a small rodent of the family Crisetidae that can live between two and five years depending on the species. They are very intelligent and social animals. In order for our hamster to feel comfortable when they arrive at our home, it's essential to have their cage ready. We can find many options in pet stores, but a lot are excessively small, resulting in stress and discomfort for the animal. The minimum space for a hamster cage should be around 60 centimeters long, 50 centimeters wide, and 50 centimeters deep. Ideally, they should have two stories to place tunnels and various structures. The cage should always be wide and comfortable for our little hamster. However, if we are thinking of adopting a Roborowski hamster, which is a very small animal, we should select an aquarium or terrarium style habitat which can help to avoid escape attempts by the little tenant. The Roborowski hamster is so small, they can even easily pass through hamster cages with narrow gaps between the bars. The cage should be cleaned at least weekly to avoid the accumulation of feces and promote a hygienic environment for the hamster. The cage's location is also an important detail since where it is in the home can seriously affect the animal's quality of life. It's important to choose a well-ventilated place, but not one which has drafts, and the temperature should be constant and oscillate somewhere between 18 and 26 degrees Celsius. We also emphasize the importance of placing the cage in a semi-shaded place as direct sunlight can cause heat stroke. We need to provide an absorbent substrate that doesn't produce dust. This is why natural wood or cellulose pellets are most recommended. In addition to elements such as water bottles and food bowls, the hamster will need shelter. You can use a nest, a small hamster house, or any other element which is comfortable and provides isolation from sunlight. They will also need distractions to ensure their time alone has enough physical and mental stimulation. Tunnels, walkways, toys, and other elements can help enrich their daily activity. Get creative in finding ways for them to stay active. Feeding a hamster should be both balanced and varied, covering all of their nutritional needs. For this, we need to include seeds, cereals, nut, fruit, and vegetables. We will now explain the basis of their diet and what food we can or cannot offer them. We can find different commercially available hamster feeds on the market which are good for daily feeding. They are generally composed of cereal, seeds and dehydrated fruit. This is an important base for protein and fibre intake, however we also need to supplement fruit and vegetables in their diet. As the hamster's diet needs to be rich in fibre and low in fat, we need to choose food which is rich in carbohydrate and fibre, mainly in the form of cereals and seeds. If you decide against commercial feed and prefer homemade hamster food, take note of the following ingredients which you should buy and mix raw. The hamster's protein needs can be provided for by using nuts, although these should not be offered very regularly. Some examples are hazelnuts, walnuts, chestnuts, almonds or sunflower seeds. All of them must be administered raw and without salt or any additives. Fruit and vegetables are also important for hamsters. We need to ensure we offer at least two small portions of vegetables every day and a small portion of fruit between one and three times a week. The hamster's water needs to be renewed on a daily basis, with the bottle system generally being advised as hygienic and easy to use. If you've just adopted a hamster, it is recommended you offer a small saucer on the ground where they can drink directly, as some do not know how the bottle works. Don't forget, there is food prohibited for hamster consumption. Among them, we can include our own food leftovers, food with salts, spices, or various condiments, and some products such as coffee, chocolate, or alcohol, which are not digestible and can be very harmful to hamsters. It is important to take time to care for a hamster's teeth to avoid abnormalities such as excessive growth or breakages. On the market, you will find elements dedicated exclusively to hamster dental care, such as twigs and sticks, which allow for healthy wear of the teeth. Ask your nearest pet store for advice. To finish, we're going to show you some of the most frequent symptoms of disease in hamsters, symptoms which are fundamental to detect early. If you observe any of these symptoms in your adult hamster, it's vital you take them to the veterinarian to rule out any problems or initiate a specific treatment as soon as possible. This is our video for today. Like if you found it useful, subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.